Today, we're diving into the seven church trends to keep your eye on in 2024. And let me tell you, the landscape is changing rapidly. If you want to keep your ministry ahead of the curve, stick around and don't forget to download the free team guide to use with your team after this video. So let's get started. Trend number one, the stable church is now an endangered species. Did you know only 12% of churches are stable right now? Everybody else is either growing or declining. So what's at stake with this? Well, what that means is the old business as usual model is a relic. Over half of American churches are now facing decline, and the future is uncertain for a lot of those. For 54% of the churches seeing a downturn, the message is clear. Change has never been more important. In today's culture, there's really no middle ground. You're either on the move or you're on the decline, and the stable church is dead. Trend number two, millennials are the new core of your church. Millennials have taken center stage in the church, surpassing pre-pandemic attendance levels, especially among non-white demographics. Post-pandemic, 30% of white millennials and a whopping 40% of non-white millennials have returned to church, and that's a significant jump from before 2020. Meanwhile, boomers, well, a lot of them are enjoying a second cup of coffee at home right now rather than in the pews. Attendance dipped from 31% just a few years ago to now 22%. So the shift is evident. With boomers stepping back, millennials are now reshaping giving and serving. So the question is, what are you doing about it? And that brings us to trend number three. In 2024, Gen Z will start to reshape the church. As millennials step into leadership in the church, Gen Z is also starting to leave its mark. Do you know that this year, the oldest Gen Zs turned 27 and they're reshaping the church as we speak. Their faith, less produced, more personal. They're craving authenticity, not just a performance on Sunday. They're also not here for a light version of Christianity. They're all in seeking a passionate, community-driven faith. So what's at stake with Gen Z? Well, the attractional model of church that's been around for so long is stalling out. And Gen Z's hunger for God and disdain for hype is pointing us to a new church era. So what do you do? Well, simple. Give Gen Z's a voice and a vote at the leadership table. Let them lead and let them shape the future. Trend number four. Discipleship is going digital, and digital is no longer optional. Churches that have leveraged digital tools are seeing real-life growth in their community, but also in their discipleship. There are a couple of large churches that are using apps to reach thousands of people. And think about John Mark Comer. John Mark Comer's discipleship resources, I love what he does, they're entirely online yet they're creating authentic community and real life change in person. It's a new era. And if you're not discipling people online, you're missing out on a crucial part of ministry. You can download the team guide to engage your team in this conversation. All right, trend number five is the one we're all gonna see this year, unfortunately. Partisan extremism will continue to fuel short-term church growth, but not long-term church growth. Okay, here's the risk. The moment you preach partisan politics, you end up alienating half your audience. And while it might bring some temporary growth, it's not the growth that fosters long-term health or outreach, especially among younger generations. So you know what I think is truly courageous in today's climate? Maybe it's not taking a partisan position. What if real bravery is offering an alternative to the noise, not amplifying it? Most people aren't looking for an echo of the culture. They're seeking an alternative. They're looking for Jesus. Looking ahead, here's what I think is going to happen. Churches that thrive long-term will be those that focus on Jesus, not on partisanship. Trend number six, AI is becoming a norm in growing churches from sermon prep to personalized outreach. Now, what this means is a lot of legacy companies are baking in 
their AI into their legacy software. So it's going to become inescapable. And sure, you're using ChatGPT. Everybody is. But what does this mean? Church leaders have been resisting this for a little while. It will become more mainstream and more inescapable. But it also raises a whole host of questions you're going to have to address as a pastor. People are worried about losing their jobs. People are developing relationships that are entirely virtual with chatbots and actually sex bots. That's a real thing that's not in the future. You're going to have to deal with this pastorally. But there's good news for the church. Amidst AI's era of deep fakes, authenticity is emerging as a superpower. Authenticity isn't just valuable. It's one of your greatest strengths as a church leader. And if you can interpret what's happening in AI for people trying to make sense of it, man, it's going to be a very promising message that you can deliver. And that brings us to trend number seven. A new kind of mega church pastor is emerging. So I love this generation of megachurch pastors. They're mostly millennials. And you know what's interesting? As megachurch pastors who are boomers and older Gen Xers step back, the new generation of megachurch pastors are mostly millennials. And they're less about top-down leadership and more about consensus, community, and they actually prioritize church health over church size. This is a leadership model that's starting to make waves. I've met literally a hundred of these next gen leaders and they inspire a lot of hope. I think they've learned from the past and they're charting a new course for the future. What's really cool is that this style of leadership resonates much better with younger generations and I think is gonna redefine pastoral leadership in the future. By welcoming a different kind of leader, you open the door to healthier churches and better outreach. Each of these trends points us toward a future church that's adaptive, technologically savvy, and deeply authentic. And if you're leading or part of a church team, now's the time to engage with these trends before it's too late. Hey, I'd love for you to download our free team guide and start the conversation in your church. And remember, the way we navigate these changes today will define the church you lead tomorrow. Thanks so much for watching, and if this video helped you, make sure you hit the like button, share it with your team, and subscribe for more insights into church leadership.